What's up guys? Welcome to the NR Motorsports YouTube channel. So today we're going to be working on the E46. As you guys saw in the last video, we got the wide body mounted so we can get ready to start cutting the inner fender liner and getting all that ready. But today we're going to focus on getting the M3 hood on, which is right here, and the front bumper so we can finish the body kit and, and then I can really see where I need to cut because as you can see, you do have to cut part of the bumper for this. So once we get the bumper on, so we can get this other piece on, we'll be able to see what we have to do there and uh, get this thing all finished up so we can start doing the five speed swap and get the emission shit started up. So I'm gonna start it, let it idle, let it go through some procedures. Cause again, one of the things is supposed to be letting it idle for like 30 minutes. So we'll let it idle while we're doing the bumper and uh, we'll get this stuff going. So yeah, let's get it. All right guys, to get this front and, oh well, actually this front bumper to come off, you're gonna to wanna to take this plastic piece off and there's a little tab inside here that you gotta push in. I'm not gonna be able to do this with the camera in my hand, but you push this little tab in that's right here and then you pull this plastic piece out to give you access to get the headlights out. We are gonna get new headlights for this, so I am gonna just pull these off, put these to the side. We're gonna put them back in until the new ones come in. But these are pretty simple. Uh, it looks, looks like the bolts that are right here. And then if I come across anything else that I might need to take off to get the headlights out I'll, I'll notate it but yeah let me get this stuff out and then I'll check in with you guys when we're ready to move this bumper all right guys so I have the bumper off and it kind of fell off when it when I was pulling it off and then I was noticing that this bracket that slides in on there is missing on that side and then when the actual skin itself it basically like popped off once I got the piece the small pieces off and this stayed on the bumper. So I don't see anywhere where this would mount up on the new one. So I think I'm just gonna make some custom mounts for it and mount it up up, up top. Cause like it's got like these things here. And if you look at this here, it doesn't have that same exact any like mounting spots for this. And there's nothing in there because whoever had this before, let me pull this up. Whoever had this beforehand fuck something up and it's missing all the part the inside parts to hold the bumper on as you see i had zip ties holding the last one on because it was falling into the tire but this inner fender liner is going to get removed anyway so that won't be there and we're just going to make some custom mounting brackets i put this back on just to test fit it and see but uh yeah this thing this bumper itself seems pretty sturdy and um, I'm gonna be making a front splitter anyway so we'll have mounting spots underneath when I put the front, front splitter on but more than likely I'm just gonna end up self tapping a couple in the top and just leaving it as it is and then making some sort of brackets to attach it to here so it's sturdy on the edges. Cause again, drift car, I want this to be easy accessibly to be taken off. So if I have four eight millimeter or seven millimeter screws on it i'll be able to pull this off pretty quickly so yeah let's get to it let's get this thing on all right guys so we have everything mounted up as you can see front bumper is on this thing is solid as hell and it, it most of it's because it fits completely tight over the actual bumper that's behind here and then with the three bolts that i put inside you can get in real close you could see back there holding it down and honestly that's how i'm going to leave it this isn't a show car it's going to get meant to get beat up so we're going to leave it just like that everything like it is super super sturdy and then when it gets the the front lip and the front diffuser on this it'll it'll be solid as hell you'll be able to stand on this thing so let's get to getting this on and then we'll see exactly what it looks like i know not exactly sure if this is going to actually fit because i was just noticing looking at body lines not sure if these are just naturally smaller than these or what but it's just the body lines and here's a little bit thicker so i'm thinking it might cover more of the headlight but hopefully it fits i would i didn't even honestly i didn't even research to see if this would fit over a facelift because i know the headlights are slightly different but we're about to find out all right guys, so quick overview. I'm not gonna film me actually doing it. It's the, you got the alignment pins here, the actual latch that goes through the, the hood here. And then it's just four bolts on each side and the ground that's right there. And then you just have to move the windshield washer fluid stuff. So we gotta 
snake this through here get all this stuff out so we can put it on the other hood but that's it on this i'm gonna get to it and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's on all right guys everything's installed everything's bolted up the way it should be hood latch is uh hooked up everything's aligned as as good as it possibly can when i go and pull everything to paint i'm gonna fix this body line right here as you can see it's slightly bigger than this like this side looks almost perfect but i tried to adjust the top bolt and i couldn't get it to move over enough and i want to adjust the back a little bit to get the body line perfectly right but other than that this is it super excited with the way it looks i still have to do the little mounting corners on here and figure out what i'm going to do behind there but i'm going to wait on that because i still as you can see i still have to cut some of the front bumper off we got to do the inside fender here and i'm going to mark that off and that'll be in the next video for the same thing with this because I want to get the wheels on as soon as possible and I can't do that until I have the coilovers, I have everything set to where I want it. And then when we have the wheels on, I can set it down on the ground and then we can take measurements for spacers. I think with the angle kit and the way it's going to push it out, the front might not need anything. If, if anything, it might need a, a, a 10 mil, maybe a 20 mil. And I think we're gonna need probably almost a two inch spacer in the back. I didn't realize like how actually wider it is in the back here. And the new um, wheels, if I, if I did the research correct when I ordered it, the lip should come right to the edge of the stock wheel well. So we're just gonna have to make up that gap. So once we have the wheels on, I have it, all the suspension set up where I want it. We'll take measurements and then get all that kind of stuff. And then Still got a bunch of stuff to do. We still got the, the five-speed swap. I got a new door for this that we got to put on. And then we got to make everything else flow. So we got a shit ton of work, but super excited where it's at now. I'll do a couple uh, cinematic walk around so you can see exactly what we're working with here now that we got the front end set and everything's good to go. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and don't forget to smash the subscribe button as well. If you got any questions whatsoever, drop in the comment section below. I'll answer anything that you guys want. And again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See y'all later. Peace.